When adding hard drives to the dial caddies, the holes for the screws are very narrow. So make sure to use a very narrow screw in order to be able to slide it into your server. Please note that for this tutorial I didn't have enough screws, so I only used one screw per hard drive. But uh, if you're having it in permanently, I would suggest making sure that you use the four screws per hard drive. When mounting the hard drives into the caddy, I used the holes right at the end, it's labelled SAS. When putting the hard drives back into your server, it should slide in relatively smooth. If you're having to force it in, that means a screw isn't in properly. Now once you've got all the drives in, you can turn on your server. Once your server is turned on, uh, wait for quite a while. Eventually you'll see on the screen, it will pop up asking you put, to push Ctrl plus R to access the RAID controller's configuration utility. When you see that, push Ctrl R and then it will open up into the utility. Once you're in the utility, you can use the arrow keys to navigate the the menu. If you hover over group and press the left arrow key that will minimize that group. At the bottom you'll see that there are the four unconfigured physical disks so those are the four new hard drives that we've added to our server. Okay so from here we're going to push the up arrow to get to the topmost menu option. In this case it's our PERC H700 integrated card. With that highlighted Press the F2 button to open the operations menu. With the operations menu open, we will select the create new VD option. VD stands for virtual disks. This will open the virtual disk configuration menu where we can go and add our drives. Okay, with the virtual disk manager open, I want to create the first two disks as individual RAID 0 disks. So where it says RAID level, I'll leave it as RAID 0. And then I'm going to press the down key to hover over the first disk. And then I'll press space to select that disk to say we want to use it. From there, I'll continue navigating down to where it says VD name. And in that input, I'll give the disk a name. So in this case, I'll just call it VD1. And once we are done, I'll continue to the OK button and press Enter to confirm. From there, it will pop up with a message just reminding us to initialize it. You can just confirm it with, uh, by pressing Enter. We will do the initialization in a little bit. I'll do that process all over again for the next hard drive, as I want that to be a RAID 0 hard drive as well. For the last two hard drives, I would like to add them as a RAID 1. So what we'll do is under RAID level, we'll push enter on it and select RAID 1. And then scroll down to the two hard drives and press space on both hard drives to add them to our RAID group. Then I'll go and rename it. And once we're done, click on the OK button to continue. And next we're going to initialize each of the new virtual disks that we created. So what you do is you open up the section of the new virtual disk or disk group. You hover over the virtual disk and then press F2 to open the operations menu. Once the operations menu is open, click on the initialization option, choose start init and then once that is open, Press enter to accept the warning that will tell you it will delete all the data on your drives. You can press enter to continue. From there we'll repeat this process for all the new virtual disks that we created. In this case for the three disk groups. Once you've done that you can press Control N to go to the next page. From there you'll be able to see more um, info and stats of the drives. So from there we can see that all our drives are online and are happy and healthy. We will press Ctrl N again once more 
just to view some extra options from here you can choose the default bootable virtual disk that you would like so for example i have proxmox installed on the first virtual disk so that is set up to be the first hard drive that will boot up when the server starts for now we are completed so when you're ready you can push the escape button on your keyboard to exit the menu it will pop up with a black screen asking you to press ctrl alt delete to restart your server okay so my server is booted up into proxmox and then if we go into the disks we can see these are the one two and the three virtual disks that we created are now showing up we can then go to for example our lvms if we want to create a new lvm group we can go create volume group We'll choose STP for example, let's call it disks. We can install the disks there and apply. And just like that, we will now have a new disk volume where we can use to install some virtual machine disks or the container volumes. And and so hopefully that helped you to quickly add disks to the H700 RAID controller. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.